Uh, this video is a continuation for the steering head um, part one that I did um, a few days ago. I um, I thought I'd run through how this um, how these bearings put together because I bought a set, but of course there's no instructions on how this set goes together. This is the um, the original bearings that uh, fell out when I disassembled this steering head. I don't know if you can see them. Oops, lots of little ball bearings that fell over all over the floor. So of course the um, this was from the top, I do believe. Actually, they're quite small bearings. The bottom ones are actually larger bearings. Let me just put that to one side. I don't really need that. I think this one here. I was looking around for the um, the bearings. I've got them here somewhere. Oh yeah, this is um, this is actually from the. Um, I'm not sure it's the top or the bottom, but they're actually different size bearings. I can just get a few out there. Do, 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 do. I don't know if you can see through this bag, but they're actually different size. But when I disassembled the steering head, as soon as I pulled the um, the column out, it all fell to pieces anyway, and they fell all over the floor. So the new set are sort of enclosed bearings. Let me just um, try and find you. This that I've put together, this is actually the top. If I just disassemble it. This piece here, this fits down the centre of the um, the frame, and this is the um, and you'll see that this thing here, if I just take it apart, this is the bearing race. But notice that it's got like a flat side like this, and then the other uh, side where the bearings are more prominent, and the way it fits is that that where the bearings are more prominent goes into there. Then this fits on top, and then actually that's how it would sit on the bike. So just to run through again, this is the top. This screws down onto it, top of the steering head. If I just take it out, and if you look at the bearings, you'll see you see the bearings all visible underneath, like a flat piece. And that flat piece fits inside this this bearing race, and this of course fits down into the top of the, the frame. So if I just show you once again, there's this piece here which is fits down into the frame. There's this which is the bearing race, which is a very sort of lightweight kind of thing really. And then this will screw down on the top and you can see it spins nicely. Of course when I assemble this thing I'll be using lots of the old um, grease I should be greasing this as well. Let me just find the grease, my favourite grease, the blue one. This is the one I like. I like the colour. And I think it is recommended for scooters, it's all for scooters anyway. I saw it on some uh, a YouTube video uh, from um, California. The guy was using this so I thought I'd get some anyway. And as I say the colour is nice and uh, at least you can see you've got it on there. So it's uh, ideal for this, it's waterproof. So let me just put that to one side. So this is the um, the top one as I mentioned, and you can see it spins nicely. So let me just put that in one of these um, bags to keep it separate, to keep it out of the way. You know, I, I tend to keep things parts in plastic bags, and you can actually write on what this was. When I disassembled the scooter, unfortunately, I didn't keep writing on them, put keep the parts separate. So it's been a bit, it's a bit of a mess really when I'm assembling it. Is I'm not sure which part goes where and what it's from and whatever really. But that's the idea, you get these right on strips and then you can write on the scooter, whatever it is, Peugeot, Tweet, 125, this is the um, top steering head bearing or whatever it is really. And then you keep everything separate, keep everything dry, keep everything clean and if the things are dirty then you can put them in the bag and then clean them up later to get rid of the rust and paint them and do whatever. So let me just show you the, the actual steering head. Ooh. This is it. This is the one. It's quite heavy, as you can see from the way I'm lifting it. I actually had it uh, shot blasted around here, then I've hand painted it with this lime green, uh, just for something more interesting, really. But you can, I've just taken off the tape off the, the stem. So this bottom is still a bit rough. I need to just clean it up with some sandpaper yet, which I can just clean up because that's where the um, a bearing is going to go down the bottom here, and then of course this pushes up into the frame. So if I just actually get out, oh, put that to one side. If I just find the bits which are going to sit on the bottom of here, 
when I actually disassemble this, what I did do was was keep the three bits together by just tying a bit of um, a thick kitchen roll around it. So I don't know if you can see here. So this piece here, this shim, we let's get registered. This shim actually fits. If I just move that over. We this shim comes down here and fits at the, right at the bottom. Fits around here, right on the bottom. So you've got the shim first. Then you have this kind of strange washer, which is like sort of open it, got an open, like a double sort of. Well, you can see yourself. It's got this. Um, it's quite dirty, but I'm going to give it a clean up, and it's still quite springy and whatever. And it'll say the bike's seven years old, so I'm not going to get a new one. I'm not even sure, you know, how much it costs or anything. So you can see that it's still quite um, oily. So this fits. This goes down here. The rubber things goes on top, so it sits down there. Then on top of that, this is the ball race. As you can see, it's still full of grease, whatever. But I've kept it all together with this um, bit of kitchen towel. So we have the the shim that goes down to the bottom. You have this blue um, sort of spongy washer. It looks like it's don't matter which way it's left or right. It still seems to be the same same both sides. And the sh and the the silver, the metal steel thing is sort of bent and distorted because it was difficult to get off. I think it normally they come flat and I don't suppose it matches which way around it is, it's just the same. But mine's sort of quite uh, bent up because it had trouble getting it off. And then this, of course, there's two sides, so you have to make sure that this is, goes down and you've got the race on the top. So let me just uh, wire my hands a touch and then I can show you the new, the new setup. Oh, it's two six. Let me just give my hands a bit of a wipe. Two six. Yeah, this kitchen towel is really good. It's like a bit uh, better. Well, let me just find the. Um... Oh, here it is. I put them in this bag. Let me just move that to one side. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. I put the whole race together. So this is how it goes. This. This. Uh, bearing is this fits up into the frame you can see inside so this is going to be assembled up into the frame this is the first step is to put that up into the frame and again with this if I just put that to one side then you can see it's bearing this you see the bearing rest again is two-sided there's this side which we can see all the bearings well actually this is where you've got this uh, metal support then here you can see the bearings actually are fully visible and they fit onto here. As, ooh, let's, as so. So this is the piece that's gonna fit down there. So you, this is the bottom, the base. This fits on top. And then this piece goes up inside the, um, inside the frame. And as you can see, spins nicely. As you can see when you get them, they're dry, so there'll be lots of the um, blue grease going all over this thing, inside, outside. I'm going to pack it with the grease, not, you know, not pack it so it doesn't move, but, you know, put loads of grease in there. You know, not only to stop water, but to help it, you know, run. So, if I just turn it upside down, so this is the one that drops downwards. And this is the actual race here, the bearing race, where the bearings run into. So this is quite smooth as well, but uh, don't get confused. This is where the bearing race runs, and this is the bit that's going to drop down this fork into there. So if I just turn it upside down again. So just to show this little piece here, now let me find where I've done with it, with the other one. Oh, here it is. Here's the old one. As you can see, it actually sits down and it sits through that rubber I'm not sure if it actually I think it rests on the um, yeah it seems to rest on this shim although it's not easy to tell yeah it does rest on the shim so this particular bearing race does rest on this um, steel shim so when you take yours apart make sure you have all these three pieces you've got the metal shim the rubber do, do, want, nuts, whatever it's called. 
and this is the um, bearing race. When I bought the uh, the set, I got of course the bearing race, and of course the bearing, and of course this top section. Uh, I didn't get this rubber base thing, nor the shim. They didn't come with it at all, really. And of course, when I bought the um, the top one, which I've just um, already mislaid, here it is. When it came in the packet, all I got was this bottom piece, this which screws on top of it, and of course the bearing, just three pieces. There was nothing else came with it. I'm not sure if you need anything else, but that's actually what came, just those three pieces. Actually, I don't know if you can see, um, yeah. Yeah, you'll see this, um, can you actually see, oh no, you can't see where I'm looking. Let me just move it and then you can have a look. Oh, let me actually just put these into some bags so that um, we know what we're doing oh, we, th we think we know what we're doing anyway okay let me just put them away to one side Oy. oh I mean yeah the top the top one of course when this pushes up the top one will actually screw down onto here that big um, nut will screw down here this is it's threaded down here I don't know if you can see the threads where I'm thinking. this is where it screws down onto that's why you'll find when I look at it again that um, top one let me just uh, dig it out again here it is you'll see there's like a big hole through the middle well that's what um, that's where it fits through there it comes up through there and screws down through there well, I think it does anyway we'll soon find out when you assemble it this is just an interim um, one about the steering head bearings I just thought I'd go in how this thing fits because unless you know it's um, just take a bit of looking at and my plan also is to um, when I do assemble it even this um, this big chunk of metal I'm gonna put some the old Vaseline onto this as well my favorite stuff again and there's no need to of course it's you know it's steel but, but I found that this was really rusty when it came apart so I had it shot blasted just this section and this was all taped up and then um, I've been painting it I think I need to do a bit more painting really just to make sure that it is um, well painted uh, with a sealant of lacquer of course so I'm gonna put this Vaseline Oi, here she is little Vaseline nice stuff makes things waterproof so I'm gonna put some down this um, thing here anyway uh, no one says not to as they say so I always like to keep things clean I mean the thing is if you actually have it disassembled there's nothing worse than finding it's full of rust again is it you know after seven years it should be free of rust there should be nothing uh, no sign of rust anywhere so let me just put that to one side so I think that's the end of the video I think I've um, said as much as I can say really on that uh, bearing so my next video is hopefully going to be the one where I um, I put the um, put it all together. That's the plan. But first, I've just got to clean this up, this base here. Just get rid of all this um, stuff that's uh, built up around here that when I had it shot blasted and with the paint. So I'm going to clean all this anyway. Make sure it's clean. And I'll be putting some grease around there, of course, when I start. And I'm going to clean up the rubber, of course. Give that a wash and maybe put some rubber grease. Which I've got somewhere. Two sets. Let me just see if I've got it in. Is she anywhere to be seen? Rubber grease, rubber grease. Yep, can't find the tin. But I'm going to use some rubber grease on that rubber anyway, just to keep it supple anyway. Once I've cleaned it all up, of course, with some hot soapy water, get rid of all that. Um, that oil and grease and whatever is left on there. So that's the end of the video for today. Hope that's helped. Any questions just let me know.